What's good, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Buzz Boys. I told y'all I was going to do two videos today. Um, so a topic that is at hand, uh, the Hornets are possibly open to trading P.J. Washington. And um, I'm not too surprised by this news because this offseason, we had a chance to get an extension done and we didn't. And it seems like the two parties are pretty far apart. This uh, came out actually a few days ago, literally like I think yesterday before the game. Um, basically, the Hornets were trying to give PJ somewhere around 12 to 13 million a year. Um, PJ wanted 20 million plus a year. Um, and if you know Mitch Kupchak and Michael Jordan, they weren't going to go for that. Um, I mean, we, we offered Miles Bridges, what, five years, 60 million. Um, and he's played, he, he was playing way better than PJ ever had. And that was before he had his breakout season. Um, so PJ, somebody whose best season has been, what, 12, 13 points, a few, you know, four or five rebounds. You know, he's not a guy who you're giving $20 million a season to. He's never really shown that all-star capability or anything like that. Um, and, I mean, now with him playing more traditional power forward, I guess it's cool, but... Um, you know, playing him last year at small ball five, it's like, man, you know, you know, big contract in a small ball five. Um, I don't know, man. I mean, his defensive ability is good, but, it, you know, I don't know. This year doesn't seem as good as it was last year. And, I mean, his scoring is still just inconsistent as it ever was. He might have 30. He might have six points. That's P.J. Washington for you at this point of his career. And I don't see why you would give him $20 million a year. So... I I just thought that the Hornets didn't offer him anything, but no, they were trying to get something done, and they were just very far apart. And um, I mean, if if him and his team are pushed for twenty million a year, he's not getting it here in Charlotte. Fuck that, that make hell no. He's not getting it here in Charlotte. So I don't know, man. Trade block. Um, I wouldn't be surprised, man. I thought we should trade him last year after he had that 40-point game against Sacramento. We should have traded his ass then. I was saying that shit last year. If y'all were on this channel, y'all remember. I was saying that shit last year. We should have traded him. We should have traded Kelly Oubre during that month where he was shooting fucking 17% from three. But he had a big, like, 40-point game or something, too. I'm like, bro, this is the time to trade these motherfuckers. Fresh off 40-point game, but that's when you trade somebody, bro. Because you know that's not really them. Um, but anyway, um, some trade partners that I'm seeing, obviously the Lakers motherfuckers trying to give us Kendrick Nunn in 2027, da, da, da. Um, now the thing is, I do definitely think the Lakers will be in on it because PJ three and D somebody who can come in right now and help the Lakers Terry Rozier catch and shoot scoring somebody who can help the Lakers right now. So you got to think about that. Um, now, as far as the Lakers go, fully expect Russell Westbrook to be coming back in the deal. Um, no matter what we do, I'm pretty sure Russell Westbrook is going to be coming back because that's, that's $50 million a year that's going to be coming off the books this summer. So I wouldn't be surprised if we trade for Russell Westbrook. I said this in multiple videos this year. I said if we get a few games into the season and the Lakers are struggling and the Hornets are struggling, expect Russell Westbrook to be a, a Hornet because you know he's Team Jordan, so you know Michael Jordan is keeping his eye on him. And, I mean, with his money coming off the books, that's $50 million to go out and really get somebody to put beside LaMelo. Now, this year's free agency class isn't the best, so I don't know who you're necessarily going to target, but... Getting money off is getting money off. And Gordon Hayward doesn't come off until next year. So I'm sure that Gordon Hayward will be in there too. Now, me personally, I don't think the Lakers have shit worth trading Terry, Gordon, and PJ to the Lakers for. I'm not trading all those people for PJ and Kendrick Nunn. I mean, for Russ and Kendrick Nunn. Actually, yeah, I probably would. Because Russ and Kendrick come off this year. Whereas PJ is going to walk for nothing this year. Gordon is here till next year. So that's another year of Gordon's useless ass. And then Terry, I mean, this team sucks, bro. Us paying Terry $100 million And I mean, yeah, he's going to give you 20 points a game, but we fucking suck. So I don't know. Um, 
it, it could possibly work. Um, now, hopefully, we can break the trade down. And um, hopefully, we can break the trade down and, you know, give them Gordon and PJ and then try to use Terry to trade somewhere else. Or hopefully, we can get two separate trades out of it. But I would definitely expect the Lakers to be all in on it. Um, and somebody else that people are obviously trying to make mock drafts for, is for the Nets. Man, the Hornets need to stay far away from Ben Simmons. There's no reason to go out and trade for Ben Simmons. Um, at this point, he just P.J. Washington with less offensive production and way more expensive, bro. Do not go out and get Ben Simmons. Um, somebody who could possibly be decent is Julius Randle. Um, I actually saw Knicks fans like actually wanting to do that trade under that post, so... You know, Julius Randle, I don't know, possibly you give us Julius Randle, maybe Mitchell Robinson, both of them, possibly. We can actually make something like that work. I don't know. I wouldn't be too opposed to that. Give them give them um, PJ and Plumley for Julius Randle and Mitchell Robinson. I don't know. Um, oh, yeah. Obviously, you got to throw Plumley in there, too. Like, the Hornets might as well just have a fucking fire sale, bro. Because, like I talked about in the uh, LaMelo injury video, and if you haven't watched that, go ahead and check it out. I'll link it somewhere right here. Um, I mean, we have a rough schedule coming up, and we're already 4-12. and 12. So, with that being said, we might go 2-8 and eight in our next 10 games, or worse. I mean, give or take, we might go better. We might go 4-6. and six. We might go 3-7, and seven, whatever the case may be. But... We're not getting out of this hole. That's that's the moral of the story. We're already in a hole um, eight games. And, man, look, you add another seven, eight games to that, we're done. We're done. So there's no reason to even waste time, man. You might as well just go ahead and start trading these motherfuckers now. It's a little bit too early for the trade deadline. Shit to really start popping off. But, bro, if you've got a deal to work, a deal's going to get made. Um Give it two more weeks, and teams are going to know whether they're buying or selling. It doesn't have to wait until the All-Star break. You're going to know if you're buying or selling. It doesn't matter. You don't have to wait till the trade deadline. Give it 10 more games. You're going to know if you're a good team or a bad team. At that point, I mean, you're going to be, um, what, about 30-something games into the season. You know who you are at that point, bar an injury. Um... So I fully expect a fire sale. Um, we got to get people out the way so we can see our in-house talent. So we got to see what Book Knight is really made out of, even though we really have already kind of seen him this season. Um, we got to see what Theo is made out of. He seems pretty good, and he's on a two-way contract, and he's he can only play 45 games for us. So if he, if he wants to play more, we're going to have to sign him for real. Bryce McGowan's two-way contract. We already seen him have 12 points in his only game here. We need to see more of him because um, he's talented as fuck, offensively and defensively. He, he looks like a real good player. Um, Kai Jones, I mean, first-round pick that we traded for is just rotten on the bench. Nick Richards, obviously, he's had his breakout year. Um, and then Mark Williams, he just sprained his ankle the other day. I'm so sick of sprained ankles. But he just sprained his ankle the other day. We got to see what he's made out of. JT Thor, personally, I've kind of seen enough. I mean, I feel like I know who he is. He's just a worse Jalen McDaniels. But at the same time, JT Thor is like 19 or 20. He has plenty of upside. So you got to keep him around, see what he can do. Dennis Smith Jr., you got to, you know, he's still only 24. You got to see if he can be a part of the future. You know, you got to see what you have in house. So we kind of got to get Plumlee out of the way, Gordon out of the way. Gordon's already out of the way because he's on the fucking bench all the time. But you got to get. Terry out the way, possibly. You got to get guys out the way so we can see what we have in house. Um, and plus, not I haven't even mentioned Miles Bridges. You know, I'm sure he's gonna be back at some fucking point. So you look at it. If you got Lamelo, you got Miles. If you got a good young draft pick coming in, and you got fifty million dollars, you look around like, huh, maybe we can do something. And we got picks. So you look around like, hey, maybe you can do something. You know, you gotta, you might not see the vision right now, but I see the vision. 
You know, we suck. Now, look, no matter how it happened, it happened. The Hornets are going to be forced to choose a direction, which is something that we've been teetering in the middle of the road for the longest time. Trying to claw our way to a play-in or 8, 9 seed, 7 seed. Fuck that shit. Go ahead and suck. Get Victor. Get Scoot. Whatever the fuck happens. And now you've got a great core moving forward. And you're going to have a lot of money this offseason if you go and trade for Russell Westbrook and let his contract fall off. We're talking about $50 million, a top three pick. You still got LaMelo. If you bring back Miles, you know what you got in him. Borderline all-star. Because him and LaMelo both could have been all-stars last year. So, LaMelo, Miles, Scoot, Victor. If we get Victor, that changes everything. And then you got $50 million to put the right players around them. Man, look, it might look bleak right now. But the future can be bright for this team if we make the right moves. So, y'all comment down below what y'all want to see us do. Uh, this is about P.J. Washington, but it's about everybody. Because anybody can go at this point besides LaMelo. And probably Nick Richards and Mark Williams. Those are probably the untouchables. Um, and Kai Jones, maybe. Maybe. Everybody else is... is and I wouldn't trade Bryce McGowan because I feel like he has a lot of upside too. Everybody else. So it might be open season real soon. And should y'all comment down below how y'all feel about that? Um, if there's any trades that y'all want to see, if there's any players that you think we should target. Um, right now, it's just a report. It's just kind of a little speculation, a little buzz. But it's probably pretty real, man. We couldn't get a deal done. We couldn't get an extension done. We're not going to let him walk for nothing. He's still a young player. On his rookie deal right now. Something might pop off, man. So, you know, just keep your keep your ears peeled. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> oh no, man. Stay tuned, goddamn. So what the fuck can happen? Cause we never know, man. Anyways, I appreciate y'all for watching, man. I didn't even realize this shit was 12 minutes long, but I had to cover a lot of ground, man. Anyways, I appreciate y'all. I fuck with y'all. And uh, we play the Cavs tomorrow, so right back at it tomorrow. I'll see y'all then, man. Peace. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Especially if you made it to this point. That means you watched the whole video and you fucked with the content. So please subscribe for me. I'm trying to figure out how to edit so I can put those little buttons up there for y'all. But please subscribe. Turn the notification bell on so you can see when I drop a new video. You can see when I go live. And I go live almost every game. So y'all can watch the game with me and all that, man. And like I said, I appreciate y'all. Anyways, I'm out of here. Peace.